Hey, what's up guys? So if you're trying to get into the PSN store, take advantage of the flash sale and you're still on 3.63 or uh, earlier because you're trying to hang on to ARC and you maybe have some homebrew, you can get met with this option here. Also, if you try and copy your games over from PS3 to your Vita using your content manager, you're also going to get blocked. So today I'm going to show you how to circumvent that with some cool software that's going to uh, spoof the network. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, Cheat Geeks. Shut up and sit down. All right, first thing is first, go ahead and make your purchase of your PSP game or your PS Vita game. Now, this will work on PS Vita or PSP games. Um, if you download a PS1 Classic, it will not transfer over. You'll, you will have to update uh, to 3.65. So this will work on PSP games. So the example I'm using today is the PSP Classic Capcom Reloaded. It will also work on Remixed. And down the link below, I'll include a link. Um, uh, it'll be a list of games that you can actually play on your Vita by using this option of downloading to your PS3 and then copying that over to your PS Vita. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so I included a link below that uh, is for this Vita Update Blocker version 1.2. I um, also included a link on the website uh, that I retrieved that from. It is walolo.net. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure you can comment down below. Um, go ahead and double click that once you've downloaded it and you'll see the application there and you can just open it up right from there and it's going to look just like this. It's going to say listening on and then it's going to give you your IP address. So for that we're going to move to the Vita. Okay so from here I'm just going to go ahead and show you real quick that I am on 3.63. And we're going to back out of there. We're going to go down to our network, Wi Fi settings. Go ahead and pick your network, advanced settings. And you can see that the old spoofing address no longer works. So I'm going to skip over that. We're going to go to a proxy server where it says do not use. We're going to click it and then we're going to click on use. And then we're going to type in the IP address that the update blocker gave us earlier. So whatever address it gave to you, enter that into the address for the proxy server and then list the port that it also gave you. Okay, once that's all in, we're just gonna go ahead and hit okay. Okay guys, so you'll see that my update blocker is still open. I'm gonna click on the PS store I'm going to click on one of the icons on the side of it, not actually the start menu. It's going to go through its thing and it's going to tell you to update your system. That's fine, but if you notice in the background, um, the network is now spoofed. It'll tell you that it, the latest version is 3.63 and it's now been spoofed. So now this time, when you go to your content manager, and my content manager was already open, so I'm going to go ahead and um, close it so I can show you. When I open it, copy content. Um, it's gonna allow me back. It's gonna allow me in. So you, you notice that I already had it open as before. When we try to open it, it would say you had to update. So now from there, I can go to my PS3, my applications. and there's Capcom Classics Reloaded and Remix. So I actually downloaded both of them through the PS3 and then transfer them over. So now that your network is spoofed you can purchase PS Vita games and PSP games and transfer them over uh, using this spoofing. So I just like to point out that I also purchased a PS Vita specifically game and I'm going to use the same transfer method by hitting the applications and so I'm going to select PS Vita applications downloaded and then it was Street Fighter so now I'm just going to go ahead and hit copy 
yes I'd like to copy so this process is going to take some time uh, depending on your connection speed as well okay so you can see there is about five seconds left uh, once this process is done downloading uh, it'll go to the copying process and that's gonna take a little bit longer it'll probably take really about 20 minutes it says 119 but let's uh, let's bet on 20 25 minutes alright guys so looks like it's already done downloading I'll close my content manager scroll down to the bottom select my game which was Street Fighter and hit start and it's gonna load up just fine so this is how we transfer our games over from our PS3 over the network um, on 3.63 if we're spoofing I hope you like this video please hit like and subscribe if you did leave any questions or comments down below remember to check out the download links that I left uh, check us out on Instagram at Cheat Geeks Gaming or on Twitter at Cheat Geeks Games with an S alright thanks for watching later